Welcome to your Nexus 2 help guide. This session is on Quick Reports. In this guide, we will first start with a brief introduction into Quick Reports. We will then discuss how to create and manage a report. This will include how to import trials and how to make changes to its format. We will then look into how to export the report and the options available for saving the report or using the current report as a template for future reports. Quick Reports is a feature that was first introduced into Nexus 2.6. It provides the user with an easy and intuitive way to view multiple model outputs across one or more trials with the option of normalizing the data to individual gate cycles or comparing across the entire trial. This is supplemented with the inclusion of temporal spatial gate cycle parameter calculations and a text window which can be used for more in-depth discussion. When finished creating the report, a PDF can be exported so that the sharing of information can occur much more quickly and seamlessly. To access Quick Reports, you can go to Window and select Quick Reports. Alternatively, you can press F4 on your keyboard. By default, Quick Reports will always be blank when you first open Nexus. To populate trials into Quick Reports, there are a couple possible methods. The first one involves having a trial open and running the pipeline operation add trial to quick report. There is also a shortcut in the toolbar that will do this automatically for you. Once clicking on it and opening quick reports, we will see that I have a trial populated. I'll now remove this uh, trial so that we can see how the other methods will also populate trials. The second method involves marking the trials within your data management. So I've highlighted four trials. I'm going to right click and mark four nodes. And I can either run a batch process that, again, includes this pipeline operation, or I can go ahead and open uh, Quick Reports and select Import Marked. Keep in mind that this method of marking nodes requires a C3D to be present. In all methods, Quick Reports will be looking for model outputs to be calculated and or events to be identified in order to contribute to the report. With trials populated in the top right corner, you can see that gate cycle parameters get automatically calculated in the bottom left corner. You will also notice that there are model outputs available for selection in the bottom right corner. These outputs can be displayed by expanding on the desired category and using the checkboxes to select the desired outputs. When selected, all three components of that model output will be shown. If you display more than three outputs, you will see arrows which will allow you to toggle between pages. At the bottom of the interface, there is a text window which functions as a very basic word processor. You have your clipboard, font, and paragraph options, as well as the ability to import a picture. You can hover over each icon to determine its exact function. The last icon is the ability to add a URL to the report. Click on the link button, specify the URL. In this case, I have linked it actually to the help guide for the quick reports and go ahead and type in the, the text that you want within your report. So here I will say quick report help. I will then click the link button again to close out uh, that link. Alternatively, what I could do is I could type in my text first. So that's my second link. It's going to be the same one and then highlight it, click the link button, and then link that URL again to that text. In terms of formatting, there are a few options available to customize a report. The first is the ability to nominate specific trials and the cycles you want to include as part of the report. To remove a trial, simply uncheck the box next to the trial name. To change which gate cycle you'd like to use, use the drop-down menu for each context of left and right. As you manipulate uh, whether or not you want the trials included or which gate cycle, you will also see the gate cycle parameters change in the bottom left corner and the model outputs changed as well in the main window. If you want to identify a trial before unchecking it, you can go ahead and highlight it and you'll see that the model outputs have turned bold. This will help you identify outliers a bit more easily. 
If you want to change the order in which your model outputs are displayed, expand on the model outputs dialog, and then you will see which model outputs you have selected. Simply drag and drop the order in which you wish your model outputs to appear. So now we can see that we've got knee, ankle, and then hip. This is automatically reflected again in the main window. To modify the units of the gait cycle parameters, simply click on the arrow beside gait cycle analysis and go ahead and use the drop down boxes to change the units as well as which markers are used to calculate these gait cycle parameters. Finally, it is also possible to change the appearance of the graphs that appear from the model outputs. By default, we will have the classic color scheme of red and green for the left and right sides respectively. We can also see that the toe up lines for each of the gait cycles appears in the graph. To change this, I'm just going to go ahead and close Quick Reports. I'm going to go into Window, Options, make sure that Quick Reports is highlighted and we can see that we have two options. We can either toggle the toe ops on and off, so I'm going to uncheck it first, open Quick Reports back up and we can see that the toe up lines have now disappeared. Alternatively, I can also choose to, um, let's just turn that back on, to change the context color so they don't default to that red and green. Instead, what will happen is each trial will have a color associated based on the number uh, of the colors shown here. So trial one will have this blue color, trial two will have orange, uh, trial three will have green, etc. If I want to go ahead and change any of these colors, I can go ahead and click on the color and then choose from either in the color palette or these pre-selected colors here. So I could make this light blue as an example. I'll click OK, and I'll close it, and then if I open Quick Reports, we can see that this, this new color scheme is reflected here. Before you export the report, you can decide which sections you want to include and in what order you wish for those sections to appear within the report. To do so, expand on the Export options, and then use the checkboxes next, next to each section to decide whether you want to remove or include that section. You can also drag and drop each section so that they appear in the order in which you wish. So I'm going to move text up to just below the title and then move graphs down uh, at the end. I'm also going to put in some text so we can actually see that reflected in our report. I'll just make it a bit bigger so we can actually see it. When I'm ready to export, I simply click on the export button, navigate to the folder in which I want to save that report, and then give it a name. I can then go to the desktop uh, and actually show my report. So I can see that I've got my text, then my gate cycle analysis, and then my model outputs down below. To save a report, I will click on the Save button. In the new dialog, I have two options for saving. I can either save the quick report as a document or as a template. I will first show you the document option. So I will give the document a name, example document, and go ahead and click save. I will then go ahead and clear this report so that it goes back to its default uh, formatting. Okay. To open this report, I will go ahead and click on open and select exact example document. We'll see that it populates the exact trials that I had previously saved as well as all the formatting and the text. The second option for saving is the template, so I can go ahead and use the formatting from this, uh, from this report to apply to other trials. So I will switch it to report template and then save it as example template. Again, I will clear all the formatting and I will delete the trial so we can go back to its default view. In Nexus now, if I was to go ahead and uh, create a, a new report or upload some new trials. I can go ahead and upload the trials one to four again by marking the four nodes, coming into quick reports, and we can see that I, after I import the marked trials, that they are populated, but I don't have any model outputs. Okay, I can go ahead and open the template, and it's automatically pulled in the same model outputs that I had saved when I had created the template. Thank you for watching this video. As always, if you have any questions about your hardware or software, please do not hesitate to contact us at support at vicon.com.